Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get data from Google Sheet uh, into Power BI using the new connector just announced for Power BI and Power Query. Let's see how it works. Uh, the Power BI Desktop November 2021 feature came with a lot of interesting features. One of them is Google Sheet uh, connector. It's a new connector. It is preview or let's say beta edition at the moment, uh, but it allows you to connect to Google Sheets. And there are um, information about it in Power BI blog and Power Query blog. Power Query blog has a little bit more information in it about it. Um, and I'm going to show you how it works. So first of all, you need to have a Google Sheet. This is a, an example of a Google Sheet opened. You'll need a URL of this Google Sheet, which is basically whatever you have in that uh, browser. Uh, then what you can do is you'll copy that URL, you'll go to Power BI Desktop. Of course, you need the latest version of Power BI Desktop to get this working, get data more. And here you can select uh, all the data sources uh, from any of those that you want. I'm going to just search for Google Sheet. Uh, there are some other Google sources as well. I'll choose, choose Google Sheet. And when I connect, it asks me for the path or the URL, which I'm going to paste it over here. When I click on OK, it pops up with this message asking me to sign in because I'm not already signed in. So I have to go and sign in. But the sign in is pretty simple. I'll just click on it. It comes up with asking which Google account I want to choose. I choose that and that sign in is complete. I see this message that you can return to your application. Feel free to close this tab. I'll, I can easily close this, go back to Power BI here. Now I can see that I already signed in. So I don't need to sign in again. I'll just click on connect. Uh, and that's basically it. You have uh, connected to that uh, Google Sheets and similar to connection to the Excel, you'll be able to see all the data sheets there. You can click on any of these and see the preview of the data here. You can select those sheets that you want to get data from it uh, and then load it into Power BI. However, I do strongly recommend to use transform data because then you can apply some transformations before loading data, such as use first row as headers or filtering those records that you don't want or doing any other transformation. So after transforming the data, you can then load it into Power BI. Now, is this only uh, within Power BI desktop or is it also working in the service? So once you've built your model, you can publish and save it in the Power BI service. Um, and then once it is in the service, you can actually schedule it to refresh. Let me go back to my uh, workspace just to show you how this is possible. So this is that example I published uh, just before this the start of this video uh, and I can see the data set. I can uh, schedule it to refresh. When I go to the schedule refresh, one more time, when I go to the schedule refresh, I don't need any gateway uh, because this is a cloud data source connection. So as you see, there is no gateway needed, but I need to set up my credentials. So I need to click on here, edit credential, uh, sign in using the same uh, Google account and then that's it, right? Now, if I have multiple Google Sheets used, I need to sign in for each of those separately because they use separate URLs. At the moment, you have to you have to log in separately for each of those. In the future, you might be able to do just one login, but at the moment, it's like that. After you've done that, then you go to schedule refresh, enable it, and add any of those times that you want to schedule it to refresh. That is how it works really easily. Now, some limitations, this is of course a beta or preview edition. It has some limitations. One of the limitations is that you cannot connect to like a folder in Google Drive and populate all of those uh, into Power BI, like the way that you connect to a folder in SharePoint or uh, an on-premises folder. That doesn't work. You have to connect to each of those files separately. Again, at the moment, in the future, it might change. Another thing is that there is no option to say, like when you say get data from uh, from Google Sheet, there is no option to click on and say browse for that file. That would be also available 
later. There's no time frame for that. Uh, one other thing is that this feature is at, is not available at the moment in Dataflow, and Power Query team said that it would be available mid 22. So fingers crossed for that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, from my point of view, this is a really good feature because um, a lot of people has their uh, data in Google Sheets. In fact, this was one of the top voted ideas in the uh, ideas.powerbi.com website, over 3000 votes and people been looking forward for this. Um, this is a fantastic addition because now you can automate that process. Previously, you had to download that file imported in Power BI, which wasn't really automated. Now it is all automated and you can schedule it to refresh. Of course, it is preview. Of course, it has some limitations, but those would be lifted soon, I believe, uh, in the next upcoming month. I hope you enjoyed this video and this helps you in your Power BI implementation. Let me know about your experience with this connector down in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and AI. Thank you.